Apple sets the date for its next big event. Will we see the iPhone 15? That is the topic for today's Tech Check. Joining us to talk about it, Steve Kovac and Deirdre Bosa. Uh, what should we look for here, Steve? New iPhones, of course. Yeah. What else, What else, Tyler? Yeah. It's September. It's Apple. New iPhones. It's, like, it's iPhone season. Right. It's like Apple picking season. It, it, that's exactly it. But look, I mean, just has, as has been the story with Apple for so long, it's going to be incremental updates year over year. But if you wait three or four years, it does feel like more of an upgrade. So here, according to just numerous reports out there, including analyst Ming-Chin Kuo, who is just always correct about these Apple rumors, the big change coming is going to be to that largest iPhone, the, the Max, the Pro Max, mm -hmm. it's going to get this new kind of camera technology that they call Periscope. That means it can zoom in better. Uh, that's all that really means. It's an, op it's an optical zoom versus a digital zoom. Better pictures, great. The other thing, this is what everyone's going to be talking about, though, is the change from that lightning plug, the plug that they've been using at the bottom of the iPhone. Yeah for, I don't know, last decade or so, is going to change to something called USB-C. Now, if you're an Android phone user or you use a more recent laptop, you're used to that. Those are the new kind of USB-C plugs that have been popping up everywhere. Now Apple is going to They're adopt a that. smaller USB, right? Correct, They're yeah. kind of a mini USB. And, and this is actually probably going to be a good thing. A lot of the reason Apple's doing this is because EU put out new regulations saying companies have to do this. So Apple has admitted itself that they're likely going to do it. And it also means that you don't have to go hunting for different chargers for all your different devices. One charger will charge everything from your iPhone to your laptop, to your tablet, to your Kindle. So that's, that's going to be the big stuff. It, it really was illuminating. One charger to rule them yeah. all. Exactly. It, you know, Deirdre, it was illuminating to me how much iPhone has infiltrated life. When I picked up a framed picture this weekend and I started to try to zoom in on it by doing this, you know, I'm like, on a, <laughs> on a, on a real print picture, what, what was I thinking there? How much pressure is on Apple to keep innovating from companies like Google and the Android phones and, and everybody else who's making devices? Well, I'll give you one more example. You tried to zoom in on a picture, but what happens when a baby tries to do that, right? Before they even know how to talk or walk, and they're trying to zoom in on stuff because they've been around iPhones already so much. Um, I love iPhone season as much as the next person, but how important is it? That's another question. I think increasingly less. I mean, we've seen three straight quarters of sales decline. So it's more about this user base, this installed base of more than 2 billion devices um, that's really keeping Apple, the stock, if you're an investor, on the way up. Because with revenue, with revenue declining, it is about the services. It's about how many people have how many devices and how much they're spending on it. So I think that it's always fun, and I love to see the upgrades, but it's really about how much more people are going to be using it and spending on it. All right, folks, we've got to leave it there. Thank you very much, Dee and Steve. Good to see you both. Appreciate it.